acceleration here now. Ooh, definitely kicks in. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Toyota 4Runner. Now, this particular one is finished in the limited trim package. And as always, a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Brown Toyota for providing us with the 4Runner. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get right into the video. Now under the hood here, we have a notch aspirated 4 liter V6 that goes through a 5 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 16 around town and then 19 on the highway with power outputs being 270 horsepower and then 278 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end on the 4Runner. If you're running, this is finished in the Blizzard Pearl Coat, which I really like. It's a nice metallic white paint. Now first coming up to the 4Runner, you guys will notice the lights super, super bright. And I just like the look of the lights in general. It has this nice aggressive look. Fog lights are just down below. And you got parking sensors here on the bottom of the bumper. Now notice that this has the old school Toyota logo. So this one is not a sensor like most of the newer Toyotas. But other than that, the front end distinctly 4Runner. And because this is the limited, the bumper comes down further compared to other 4Runners. So you don't get as much ground clearance. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires and 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And I like the overall design of the wheels. It kind of reminds me of the sun. Like, it's just like the little rays popping out of it. But other than that, pretty standard setup for an SUV of this side. I like how they've painted the fender flares to match the rest of the car. Definitely makes it look a lot more upscale. And they've got this chrome trim here along the side. And then if we take a few steps back, we can see the full size of the 4Runner and it's actually pretty big. to the back of the 4Runner you can see you've got the 4Runner rubber floor mat right here and yep like all car viewers say you can make toast here in the back you got a 12 volt right there and then you've got the cargo cover here for the rest of the rear and then underneath this you can see just regular carpeting with the 4Runner now you can get a third row with the 4Runner be just in that little area if the uh, 4Runner had it but other than that I mean you can see back here in the rear good storage space pretty simple and that's all now let's go over the rear of the 4Runner. So again, this is like super distinct to the 4Runner. I do like the taillights on the 4Runner. They've kind of made them a little bit darker. And I just like the overall design of it when you look at it like close up. I know it's a little bit more old school, but it still has a cool look to it. You got a receiver hitch in the back end because yes, you can tow with it, more parking sensors. And other than that, that is everything for the rear. Now here is the door for the 4Runner. So you can see that there is a bunch of soft touch here on the side. And then just down below as well, you got a little window control right here with the uh, door handle. I like how it's finished in chrome. But looking at the seats in the front, they're actually really nice. They feel really nice to the touch. They've got nice perforations all throughout them. And as always, let's pop in. Don't mind my uh, messy hair. It's pretty windy outside today. But if you guys are wondering, I'm 5'11", so here's kind of like how much headroom I have. And then here's the legroom. It is a little bit on the smaller side for how big this SUV is, but it's not bad by any means. Got this little cargo net. There's a couple of vents right there, and then you can see you've got a couple little charging areas. And finally, got the cup holders that pop right down, and that is really squishy for a cup holder area. I think that's pretty cool, and well, this is uh, everything for the back. And here is the door with the 4Runner. So again, you can see you've got all the soft touch all over the whole door panel, and then you can see you've got the window controls here, and then the door handle as well, and then here is the seat. So I really like these front seats again. They've got the really nice soft to touch leather perforations all throughout the seats, and then you've got the adjustments on the side of the seat right there. Again, rubber floor mats to say 4Runner on it. There's what the pedals look like. And then over in this area, we can see that you've got this to turn on the power outlets. You've got the mirror adjustments right over there. And other than that, that is everything before we pop in. Now here is the steering wheel in the 4Runner. If we kind of zoom in, you can see you've got a couple controls for the center stack. And then you've got the little pages button for that as well. Collision assistance, lane departure assistance, and then, yep, cruise control hiding back there in the back. Then you got your volume control, voice commands as well, phone control on top of that. So you've got the light stock right there, and then that is for the windshield wipers. And for the rest of the steering wheel, you notice that you've got like the perforated leather here on the side, which is grip. You've got stitching on the inside as well. And you got kind of like the rougher to the touch at the top 
and at the bottom. Here is the center gauge cluster itself. You can see RPMs on the left side, on the right side, you've got the speed, and then you can see right there in the center, it's kind of like a little screen. You can scroll through a couple different menus. Just gives you different bits of information on the 4Runner. Pretty simple setup that every Toyota pretty much has. This is kind of like the older variant on it. I do like that little uh, sway warning right there. If you like go over the line a bunch, the car will be like, hey, pull over to the side of the road, and stop driving because you're being an idiot. Now here's the center screen, first and foremost. Let's actually pop it in reverse so you can see the back of camera. Now the trajectory lines do not turn with the steering wheel, just a pretty simple setup on the camera itself. Now other than that, with the rest of the infotainment system, you guys have seen this in Toyota for quite a bit of time. The response time on the buttons is actually pretty decent. And then with the response time on the screen, as you can see, it's also pretty decent. The screen does have a little bit more of a dated look, but they have had a chance to work out all the kinks. So I guess like you win some, you lose some. So you've got the dual zone climate controls right in this little area. And then you can see down here, you've got the rest of the climate controls. It's cool, they give you that separate little area. Yes, it does have heated and ventilated seats here on the front. And yes, I've got the ventilated seat on because it's kind of toasty today. And then we can see down here, you've got like a random little cup holder. This is the drive line select, so you can see you can shift through the different modes. Pretty simple to use, but it has all your regular stuff, so your four wheel high, your four wheel low, all that kind of stuff, nothing too crazy there. And then this is the shifter for the five speed automatic. They got like wood on the back to make it look a little bit more premium. And then you've got the reverse right there, and then this is so you can shift the gears yourself. And then blank switches, interesting. This is the window on the back. So you can see the full window goes down and up. So, um, Pretty cool, it's for dogs, I imagine, but uh, yeah. Now this is the center console itself. Opening up the center console, you can see storage space in here is pretty decent, pretty average for an SUV. Definitely nice with the leather on the top. And then they've got more of that wood trim right here, which is actually pretty nice. The glove box, just press that little button, and then it'll fall right open. And you can see, again, storage space in there is really solid, and that's all for that area. Now up top here, yep, we do get a sunroof. It's just a regular sunroof in the 4Runner, nothing too crazy. And then up here, you can see there's a couple more things. So like you got the controls for the sunroof and then you do have some of the stuff for like the garage door opener. And then this is your hill descent control. And then this is with the traction control system. So pretty cool on that. And it's everything for the top. Now that we're done going over the interior on this 4Runner, let's quickly get into pricing. So in terms of pricing, this sticker is for about $48,000 for any type of market adjustment. And other than that, let's take this 4Runner out and see how it drives. Quickly talk about visibility in the 4Runner before we set off. So you can see visibility over the hood, super solid. And then there is through both of the mirrors. And then here's all throughout the rear as well. So visibility in the 4Runner is pretty good. That pillar does block things just a little bit, but it's not bad by any means. And that all being said, let's go. We are setting off in the 4Runner Limited. And ooh, that is a cool Dodge. I just like the hood on it. Anyways. Initially setting off here in the 4Runner, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So first and foremost, from a ride quality perspective, it's really smooth. The Limited is going to be the smoother 4Runner compared to like the TRD or the TRD Pro, for example, just from a suspension standpoint and then also from a tire standpoint. And then in terms of the noise that comes through into the cabin, it's actually pretty noisy. We're right next to an interstate and it's also usually pretty windy down here in Utah County. and. I don't really hear anything. I hear my air conditioning seat every time I like lift off. It's kind of funny, like you can really hear the fan behind you, which is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so overall, like initially starting off really solid. This definitely is kind of like the luxury 4Runner and it does a really good job at it. I definitely like the interior on this. I know some of the materials and some of the stuff is a little bit more old school, but still it actually looks really nice and it feels really nice. And I can tell that this is stuff that's very durable. It's gonna last for a very long time. And then from the handling perspective, it's actually really good with the handling. Like the steering is a little bit vague, but it doesn't feel like a gigantic SUV. It does really, really well. So this will be kind of like our minor acceleration initially. So it's got good like torque right off the bat with this V6 actually, which I and mean, you guys heard the power and torque figures. It's not crazy out of line, but let's get our full blown acceleration here now. Ooh, definitely kicks in. Can definitely hear that engine like it. 
goes from being silent to like boom in your face now let's go into the manual mode and see how it shifts through the gears manually definitely definitely an old school transmission doesn't have that like snappy feel with the gear shifts yeah pretty slow with the gear shifts to be honest it's five speed automatic again what you lack in shift speed and all that you gain in reliability I mean, this transmission is so proven and that'll get me into something things up with the forerunner kind of like what i've said with other toyotas like the tundra and again like this forerunner is yes it is a little bit old school it is a little bit dated but at the same time you don't have to worry about all the reliability issues you have to worry about with other vehicles because Toyota has had a chance to work out all the kinks. And on top of that, because Toyota doesn't update their vehicles all the time, like some car manufacturers, you don't lose out in resale value because this 4Runner is going to be similar to a 4Runner from years ago. So the resale value also sticks because of that. So again, reliability is really solid. And I mean, it's got enough modern tech, like you got the backup camera, you got the Bluetooth, all the stuff that I really use. I don't really use much more than that. And so it's like, it has everything you need. doesn't have all the stuff that you don't need. And then again, you also still get that really solid reliability. That is gonna sum things up for our video on the 2021 Toyota 4Runner. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Brown Toyota for providing us with the 4Runner. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in the next video.